Hi everyone, welcome to Art with Miss Lin. Today we are going to draw a picture of a birdhouse. So very simple to start. We're going to start with the rooftop of the house, which is a triangle. You can see, I'm going to try to draw it nice and big. Now the birdhouse, it could go, um, it could be just like standing on a pole or as you know, sometimes people hang it on the tree, right? So you can decide which way you want to make this. So I'm going to draw the top kind of like that. Upside down V and then you make it thicker, right? And then in the middle, it will be a square so from the corner of this um, the rooftop. We draw the lines down and then at the bottom, we're going to draw the base or a very, very long rectangle like that. If you want to show the side of the house a little bit, then you can add another line, make it look um, kind of 3D. You can make a shape kind of slanted like this and then connect this part, which will make it kind of 3D looking like three-dimensional, you can see the side. And then you draw the vertical line again, just following the same line that we did over here, and then connect this part. Okay, so this way you can see the side of the house too. Now what we need is a hole, right? So the bird can go in. And sometimes they have um, a stick where they land stand on it so just draw a cylinder which is round shape like this this part is curved and then the circle on this side right so then that's where they will be standing okay and to make this part also um, three-dimensional you just need to add a curve here and then everything inside would be kind of dark you can color it in with black a dark color. In fact, I could just do that now, so then it's um, you can see it better. So if I shade this in, and color it in, leaving this part brown when I color it later, then you'll notice this is an open hole, just like that. The next step is if you want to have the burr house standing, so you just add a big pole at the bottom by right, holding it up or if you want to have it hanging on a tree then you add the string hanging from like a tree branch right so what I'm going to do is the, the pole like that kind of goes down like this and um, I could draw some lines to show the wooden texture and in fact you can do that too you just kind of draw some vertical lines like this to show the wood texture of the house right and then you can think about um, background for example garden things grass flowers right maybe some insects so for example bees or butterfly or you can draw the bird itself right <laughs> here we have a bee you can sketch out butterfly if you want to draw the bird then maybe the bird flying down. Let's add some patterns here. Right. So a very quick and simple sketch like that. And you can think of what other background, what other details you can add to make this look more interesting. 
for example, maybe another layer of bushes in the back. Right. And again, if you want to draw the birds, you can start with the head. You can have the beak, eyes. Um, if it's flying, right, the wings will be going up. We're keeping it kind of simple, kind of like a semicircle. The other side here, you will have the belly and then the tail. So all simple shapes. And the little leg, the feet going like that. Looks like it's chasing the bee. All right. So that's pretty much it. Very simple sketch. And then the rest of the picture would be just coloring. And maybe adding some more details in your picture. For example, flowers. There's so much you can do to create a scene like a springtime scene like this. Or summertime. Have fun sketching yours. See you next time.